everyone. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here with my guest stars. Adam Haskell and WWE Fan 0599. And we're all here to do our top five most anticipated films for the spring 2015 from January through April. So before we do start off with our top five most anticipated, we'll start off with our honorable mentions. So um, Adam, any honorable mentions for you, man? Nope. And WWE, why don't you go ahead and start off with all of your honorable mentions? I have five honorable mentions. You guys ready for this? Go ahead, man. We have Black Hat. I don't know if you guys can see it, but Black Hat. Um, I'm looking forward to this movie. Chris Hemsworth looks like he's doing going to do a pretty good job in this movie. Um, it's directed by Michael Mann, who directed Collateral, starring uh, Tom Cruise. And it looks like a good movie, even though it's being released in January. I have hopes for this movie. Number two. This is going to be a shocker. I have Cinderella. As an honorable mention, I think this could be interesting to see what they do with this live action adaptation. I'm just interested to see it. The third honorable mention, King's Men, The Secret Service. Um, this movie looks fun, okay? It's directed by Matthew Vaughn, who directed X-Men First Class. It just looks like a fun popcorn action movie to me. Next one is Chappie. Um, Chappie looks like it could be a good science fiction movie. I'm really looking forward to it, but just not enough to get into my top five. And finally, probably my most anticipated comedy for this spring, and that is Get Hard. Um, to me, Get Hard looks hilarious, and I just cannot wait to see this. It's got my favorite comedic actor, Will Ferrell. So yeah, this looks funny. Can't wait to see it. So those are my honorable mentions. Now, for me, I only have two honorable mentions. My first honorable mention is going to be, yes, believe it or not, Taken 3. Even though I was extremely disappointed with Taken 2, I thought Taken 2 was one of the worst movies of 2012. The first one was badass. But watching the trailer for Taken 3, I think it has a lot of hope. Now, I'm not expecting it to be like one of the biggest masterpieces of 2015 or anything. I'm just expecting a fun film. Just be better than Taken 2, be fun, and that's all I want. Just a fun film, so yeah. And my second honorable mention is going to be the Neil Blanc Kemp film, Chappie. Yep. Yeah, Chappie looks like it's going to be a very interesting movie. I liked Elysium. And I loved District 9, so I look forward to seeing what Neil Blomkamp will do with this one. And it looks a little strange. I don't know what direction they're going to take this movie exactly, but I'm going to have to find out once I see the movie. So, yep, that's my honorable mention. And now, let's get to our top five list. All right, number five for me is actually probably going to be quite a surprise. It's a film I'm not really looking forward to, but just, eh. It's actually Paddington. It looks, okay. it does look like it has, definitely has its family cliches, and it looks like it definitely has a lot of, like, potty humor and stuff in there. But at the same time, it looks like it could be a fun movie. I mean, the CGI and the bear looks really cute. It looks like it could be a cute movie. But I don't know. It looks like it is going to be better than the, the other movies that came out. Alvin, the Chipmunks, and Smurfs that were based off things from, like, a long time ago. But, yeah, it looks like it could be cute. So, yeah, number five is Paddington. The SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water, is my number five on my list. I'm a huge SpongeBob fan. I love SpongeBob. It's my third favorite um, cartoon of all time. I love the first movie. The first movie was so good in my opinion. I did really enjoy that movie. And this one catches my eye really. It really looks like it could be an interesting you know, movie. I did really like the trailers to this movie. It does look funny in my opinion. It just looks like it just looks innocent in my opinion. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm a big Spongebob fan. So yeah, Spongebob, the Spongebob movie, Sponge Out of War comes at number five. My number five is going to be Furious 7. Furious 7. Yes, it's not Fast and Furious 7. It's just Furious 7. That is my number five. And 
I am excited for this movie because I've been seeing a lot of potential ever since Fast Five. The movies that came out before Fast Five, I haven't been exactly a fan. The first two movies, I think, are okay. They're not bad. They're just okay. Three and four, three especially, dear God. Uh, and then after seeing the fourth film, I pretty much lost hope. And then one of the best movies of 2011, known as Fast Five, came out. And ever since I saw Fast Five, I'm all like, this franchise could go to somewhere very awesome, somewhere very fun. And you know what? They've been doing it ever since then. I really liked Fast Six, Fast and Furious 6 as well, although Fast Five still remains to be my favorite in this franchise. I still think Fast and Furious 6 was a kick-ass movie. And seeing the trailer in Furious 7, you know, for God's sakes, you have cars jumping out of a fucking airplane. How is that not fucking bad right there? That alone is enough for me to be excited. And then, of course, may he rest in peace. But I am excited to see it just because we'll see Paul Walker one last time. Overall, it looks like it'll be a fun time. It could be a little emotional because of Paul Walker, but it could also be a badass time because of the action and what journey all, the whole team is going to go through. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to where Furious 7 is going to go. All right, number four is another movie I'm kind of looking forward to, but not like a lot. That's actually a movie that got delayed, and that is Jupiter Ascending. It was actually supposed to come out last year, but now it's coming out this year, this upcoming year. Uh, I think this could be a fun movie. It has potential to be a fun movie. The visuals and effects look really nice. The acting looks decent. It doesn't look like the best acting, but it looks okay. And Mila Kunis looks a little miscasted, to be honest, though. She doesn't look like she can do great in this movie or anything, <clears throat> but it looks like it could be a fun movie. It has potential to be a fun movie. So yeah, I'm pretty kind of excited for it. I like it a lot. When I get to number three is when I get to what I'm really excited for. So this does look like a pretty fun, be a pretty fun movie. Looks interesting. So yeah, number four is Jupiter Ascending. My number four is going to be another Chris Hemsworth movie, and that is In the Heart of the Sea. I am really looking forward to this movie. I, It looks incredible to me. I really think it does. Um, I do like the story of Moby Dick. I've always been interested in that story about Moby Dick. I have always have, and it just looks incredible. It's going to be directed by Ron Howard. He has made some great movies. I'm very interested to see this movie. I'm just interested to see how Moby Dick destroys everything. I'm very interested in this movie. This movie looks great. I really, I am really looking forward to the in the heart of the sea. My number four is going to be Kingsman: The Secret Service, directed mm -hmm. by Matthew Vaughn. Um, he's the director of X Men: First Class. I really like X Men: First Class. The premise alone, it looks like it could be very interesting. You also got Colin Firth in an action movie, and I, that feels really refreshing to me, honestly, because lately we've just been seeing Colin Firth and a lot of these like drama type-ish roles. So it's nice to kind of see him take a break from that and just go into like a more action-oriented movie. And this movie, for what I heard, is going to be rated R. And you've got Samuel L. Jackson. So you know what that means. You're going to hear yeah, more motherfuckers. <laughs> action scenes looks like they're going to be pretty mm -hmm. bloody, especially knowing it's going to be rated R. But... I think it could be a very fun time, and I just really look forward to it. That's my number four for this list. My number three is actually a film that a lot of people aren't looking forward to. It is a sequel. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm actually one of the very few people who actually kind of liked the second movie, and that is Taken 3. I loved the first movie. I thought the second movie was okay. I kind of liked it. And this movie... I honestly think looks like it's going to be the first movie again. It's going to be really badass, really bloody, really action-packed. Liam Neeson looks awesome. R Liam Neeson rarely ever disappoints for me, honestly. It looks like it's going to be a really awesome movie. Is it necessary? No, it's definitely not necessary, but it does look like a really fun action popcorn movie. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for it, and I may complain as people are like, it's coming out in January, so it's going to be bad. But guys, the first movie came out in January, two years ago. And that That's turned out point. great. Good point. 
my number three, if you would have told me before the first movie came out that I would look forward to the sequel, you, I would have told you you're wrong. <laughs> I'm not going to look forward to this movie. But I am. At number three, Insurgent. Okay. Now, um, I was, uh, I really enjoyed the first Divergent movie. I was surprised. I did not think I was going to like that movie at all, but I did enjoy Divergent, and I'm looking forward to the sequel. And the sequel does look great, in my opinion. I am really looking forward to this movie. The action looks great. Um, Shailene Woodley, Woodley looks like she's going to do a great job in this movie. Cannot wait for this movie. It comes out in March. So, yeah, I'm excited for Insurgent. My number three most anticipated is actually a film that's going to come out in January. It's in some areas by now, but it most likely won't come into my area until January, and that is American Sniper, directed by good old Clint Eastwood. So this is a 2015 film for me. Clint Eastwood, he's a very talented director. Um, yeah, he has his hit and misses, but I still think overall as a filmmaker, he does a really good job. It just looks like one of those movies that's going to hit me emotionally and really make me think a lot and really have a lot of respect for what these men do for our country because yeah. of all the post-traumatic situations they go through in life, which I could ne I would never want to be in the same spot as them. And you could tell just by watching the trailer alone that Clint Eastwood has a lot of respect for this man. Um, mm -hmm. I'll put his name down below, but you can tell that he respects this man a lot, and the fact that Bradley Cooper is going to be portraying this character looks really interesting. So yeah, that's my number three. All right, Tony's going to be really happy with this one. Number two for me is the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water. The next SpongeBob movie it's not a sequel to the other Spongebob movie, it's the next Spongebob movie, okay, like Tony said. It looks really clever in terms of humor, the animation looks really impressive, the CGI animation does, even the 2D animation looks really impressive as it is. So the movie it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, it could actually, I think it actually could be better than the last one. The much I love the last one, it looks like maybe things could improve in this one. And it looks like a really fun movie to me. I just am really excited for it. It looks really clever. And it's SpongeBob. I mean, come on now. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm really excited for water. my number two, so I'm really excited for that. All right, my number two is a movie we have all mentioned now, since I'm about to mention it. My number two is Taken 3. Ooh. Taken 3, man, am I excited for this movie. Just like Tony, I love the first movie, but the second one stunk. The third movie looks like it could be awesome. Now, my only worry is that it's being released in January, but like Adam said, the first one was released in January as well. So, I have hopes for this movie. Can't wait for it. As you all know, Liam Neeson is my favorite actor of all time. So, I cannot wait for this movie. The action looks like it's going to be awesome. So, yeah, I'm just I'm just expecting to have a good time with Taken 3. So, yeah, Taken 3 comes in at number 2. My number two is a movie that good old WWE just mentioned earlier in his list. That is In the Heart of the Sea. That mm -hmm. is right. I am very excited for this Moby Dick telling that is going to be directed by Ron Howard. The Moby Dick telling the story, I always found it very interesting growing up. And the fact that one of the best filmmakers working today put it on the big screen. I mean, mm -hmm. how can I not be excited? I mean, you've got Chris Hemsworth, you've got other talents in this movie. You know, it's going to be really epic just to see Moby Dick on the big screen. Overall, it looks like it's going to be very interesting. I always wanted to see what a Moby Dick movie on the big screen was going to be like, and now I do because I have Ron Howard to thank. So, Ron Howard, thank you for making a Moby Dick movie. I look forward to seeing it, and I hope it is just Awesome. What else can I say? It's Moby Dick, for fuck's sakes. How can I not be excited for this movie? The movie I'm most looking forward to is the franchise that, I swear to God, each movie just gets better and better, and that is Furious 7. I am really excited for this movie. I think it looks really action-packed. I mean, it's cars exploding, like Tony said. Cars exploding. Like That just is going to be awesome. Looks like a really badass movie. It's probably going to be, I have this feeling it's going to be even better than the sixth one because this franchise has something so rare and just improves on every movie. Usually 
sequel rules tend to get worse, but this one just tends to improve each movie, and I'm really excited for Furious 7. I have a lot of hope in it, and it's Paul Walker's in it, and um, yeah, I'll definitely see it for Paul Walker. Rest in peace, he's awesome. So yeah, my most anticipated movie of the spring is Furious 7. My most anticipated movie for the spring is Furious 7 is the exact same as Adam, man. Man, am I excited for this movie. I cannot wait to sit my butt down in the theater and see this movie. See fast cars jumping out of airplanes, people out of airplanes. I mean, it's just awesome. I mean, Paul Walker jumping from, from a bus off of a mountain onto a car. How can you not be excited for that? And Jason Statham as the villain, it looks awesome, people. I cannot wait for this movie looks action-packed it looks like we're gonna have a fun time in our hands and it looks like it could be the best out of the entire series it really does I'm really looking forward to this to this movie it's definitely my most anticipated movie for the spring okay I'm not gonna sugarcoat this my number one is a sponge on movie sponge out of water Adam already knows this W already knows this most of you especially if you've been watching my SpongeBob episode reviews the trailer review I did for the trailer when it first came out. I love that the SpongeBob's having his own movie. I mean, how rare is it for a cartoon to get two animated features? It's going to be another story, which I'm very happy with because when I heard there was going to be a sequel, I was like, how exactly are they going to continue this? Because the first one, you know, there's no continuation. There is just no need. So I was mm -hmm. getting very worried. When I saw it was going to be in CGI, the poster that released back in June, I was all like, oh, oh, my God, dear God, no. And then when the trailer came out, all of my worries have been gone. I am excited for this movie. The animation, the 2D animation, it looks fantastic. The 3D animation, when they go up into the human world, it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of going to be a superhero movie. I mean, Adam, you ju he just shared with me a Spongers poster. It references the Avengers, and that was a good point. And the fact that My Fair Cartoon is going to possibly be a superhero movie, just... I'm ready to see this movie. That's my number one for Spring 2015. I want to thank you all for watching our top five most anticipated for Spring 2015. So I want to give a special thank you to Adam Haskell and WWE Fan 0599. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, check out my channel. Please subscribe and subscribe to 22 Tiger Dude. He's awesome. Yep. Thanks for watching. <laughs> And um, comment down below, let me know, what are your top five movies of Spring 2015? They have to be the movies from January through April. This is 22 Tiger Dude, here with Adam Haskell and WWE Fan 0599. I'm going to leave a link to their channels in the description below. And don't forget that the three of us will always have... Taco Power! Power. Yeah. <sighs>